found the clothes I was wearing in my very first before picture for Jenny Craig. It was these. Valerie Bertinelli is feeling at peace with where she's at. The Food Network star shared a candid video on Instagram where she wore an old outfit from a past Jenny Craig before photo, reflecting on how she thinks health isn't always tied to the number you see on a scale. I have done so much emotional and mental work to recover from years of ugh, pretending everything was okay when it wasn't. Health is not a body size. Health is not that, that number you see on a scale. Your worth as a human being isn't dictated by your body. It's not defined by your body. I thought I was fat the last time I wore these clothes. The 63-year-old ended her message on an upbeat note, saying she now feels much more at peace and beautiful. I've never felt more beautiful, more at peace, more mentally and emotionally stable than I do today. And I'm wearing my fat clothes. That's up. <laughs> Valerie isn't afraid to speak her mind. Axa spoke with her in 2022 and she shared about her personal life. Uh, your book, Enough Already, maybe it's me in my 50s, but I love the title of this because it's sort of, I think, how a lot of my friends now are feeling. Enough already with everything, right? You got to find the light. You got to lean in. I love your chapters on body image. When did the struggle start for you? At a very young age. I think it started by watching the way my father treated my mother differently when she would gain weight. It started when an elementary school teacher poked at my belly and said, you're going to want to keep an eye on that. I didn't even know. I wasn't aware of my body before that happened. I was just a kid. So I think I learned at a very young age that to gain weight makes you unlovable. And that's a lie. It's a huge, horrible lie that most women have been told. And it's wrong. And I'm not going to live that lie anymore because I am lovable. We are all lovable in and of ourselves. It doesn't matter what we look like. Yes, we want to take care of ourselves. But that doesn't mean that we're not lovable. We're always lovable.